Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Frankel. All right. <laughs> Hello. My Thank you. <laughs> My name is Helen. Well, he already said that. Um, I just wonder how many of you ever think, you know, how much technology we have in our modern world, you know, all those technical things that we use daily and take them for granted. Um, I grew up in a country that doesn't exist anymore. It used to be called Soviet Union. And though our country claimed to be the best in the world in everything, the truth be told, uh, technologically it was quite behind America. And there could be many examples, but just to give you some idea, um, not many people in our country had cars, so we had to take public transportation like trams and buses. But most often when you get into the bus, it was so crowded that you literally could not move your elbows. That's how packed it was. And I don't think I have to mention, but um, because of sh problems with running water, our people did not shower daily. So you can just imagine you can try to imagine, I mean, being in it every day, going to work from work, and so. And if you wanted to have a car, we had a shortage of how many were manufactured, so they would put your name on the list, and in about seven to ten years, I'm not exaggerating, finally you would get a car. So. And um, speaking of television, we had about three channels. And two of them were absolutely boring. They, I mean, they showed political stuff all day long. So, and of course, we did not have remote control, so you had to walk to the television, you know, to turn it on or off. Had to push the button. <laughs> and um, not so many people had a phone, and I don't mean cell phone. I mean a phone. You know. So coming to America 20 years ago was really amazing. And you would be surprised how quickly I got used to some of this technology and started taking it for granted. I mean, uh, when I went back to Ukraine, I was at a railway station and there was this double glass door and I had two suitcases in my hands. And so I walked to it and I was waiting for it to slide open. And I was waiting, but the door wasn't doing anything, so I kind of decided you know, to move a little bit, hoping the sensor would know. And so finally, a man walked to me, and he opened the door, because he knew it was manual, and he gave me that look, <laughs> like, is she crazy, or, or is she from America? <laughs> you know. So, and another example was one night I was serving dinner, and I told my husband, I said, Honey, I'm sorry, but we don't have any clean forks left. I mean, I put them all in a dishwasher, and I didn't turn it on yet. And he looked at me, and he said, Well, why don't you get two forks out and, you know, wash them by hand? And I was like, Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there is a concept, right? So, you know. And so the poem that I wrote and would like to read today it's also about technology and how it changes over time, you know, from one generation to another. And it is called, How Did We Live Without Texting? <coughs> I saw a vision. Years from now, teenager asked, Miss Helen, how did you do things when you were young? When I replied, she seemed quite stunned. You mean laptop wasn't there yet? You couldn't use the internet? You're kidding. People couldn't text? I wonder what you'll tell me next. You had to walk to give a message to someone's office through the passage? You mean you couldn't send email? You had to send your stuff by mail? And to research something you needed, to local library you had it, looked through the magazines for that. You couldn't use the internet? How did you live without texting? You had to call by phone connecting. You talked to people, heard their voice. 
That wouldn't be my favorite choice. You didn't have laptop or tablet and no iPhone or other gadget? Without Blackberry, cell phones, how did you live without ringtones? T teenager was amazed for real. Without Facebook? That's unreal. How did you chat? You couldn't tweet? You had to call someone to meet? You had TV without remote? Oh man, <laughs> that wouldn't get my vote. You had to walk to turn it on? <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't even born. <laughs> You couldn't post or send them pictures? You guys are like those ancient creatures. <laughs> and photo albums than you had. Oh man, <laughs> I think I'm going mad. <laughs> she looked at me quite disbelieving. Without gadgets, we were living. I told her that we were okay and had our friendships like today without texting and emailing, without posting, sending, sharing, without net surfing and Wi-Fi, we seemed somehow to get by. She was quite shocked by conversation. I thought about my generation. How did we live without all this? Sometimes those simple days I miss. Thank you.